Okay, well this is the um, band selector switch. Um, this is the offending item. What we need to do is try and get this back cover off so I can gain access to the uh, mechanism inside. There's two little bent over tabs here. One here and one here. Looking at the actual um, switch or I'm not sure what it is. It looks like a potentiometer but it's quite a complex one. It looks like if I whip that back panel off I should be able to get access to it so uh, I'm going to go in now and uh, get some smooth jaw pliers hopefully bend these that one's quite badly bent actually careful with these because they can snap off not careful Off, so let's pop the screwdriver in behind. No, not coming out yet. I was wondering whether that's actually got a cut out in the base. Okay, I've just lined it up a little bit better. Just hoping I can uh, just ease that back cover off. It's coming that side. side for some reason. There we go. There we go. <coughs> Hopefully nothing will fall apart. Hmm. Nearly off. <laughs> I've got some jumpers that are in the way there. Let's just prise this top piece off a minute. That's one. Nearly, nearly, nearly. <laughs> He's fighting this one. He don't want to come. There we are. No, I don't know if you can see that, but it um, doesn't actually look too bad. I'm glad I took that back panel off. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some magnification in here and just have a look at these tracks just to see how bad they are. There certainly is some uh, score in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look first of all and then I'm probably going to get a bit of IPA on uh, a cotton bud and give it a clean. Okay, well, I've been going over this with IPA. As you can see from the cotton bud there, it's pretty mucky. So fingers crossed that is actually the problem. So I'm just going to um, carry on with the IPA for a minute and um, hopefully get this cleaned right up. Then I'm going to squirt it with IPA to just wash it through. Then uh, I will put some uh, deoxit on it as well because what I can't get at is the rear of these little tiny pins. I don't know if you can see that but... Um, Yeah, not quite focusing, but yeah, these little tiny pins here. There's four there and another four there, so there's eight. And I'm not sure there's any of the other side as well. 
Um, I don't want to take it apart any further really. So I'm quite glad to have got that back panel off. So I'm going to just go over that once more with IPA and a fresh cotton bud and uh, hopefully we'll be in business. Okay, that's pretty clean now. I've um, squirted some IPA in there and um, let it dry out. Just blown it through with some air just to make sure we are good. So I'm just going to give it a very quick squirt of deoxit now. Just on the pins there really. Just move it around a little bit. Just get that nicely lubricated up. Sure, get rid of any excess on the board. I'm going to pop that um, cover back on, hopefully. It's not going to be easy. It didn't come off easy, so it ain't going to go back on easy. Okay, that's one side on well, its way back in. And the other side. Oh, there we go. Hopefully, that'll squeeze across. Tabs back. There we go. One potentiometer back in place. Okay, just have a look at the back of this board. It's some um, strange. It's got like a if I put my finger across it, I'm sure you'll see it's almost like a talcum powder. I'm not sure what's going on there, but um, definitely need to clean that board up with some IPA. So I think next it's time to start looking at the capacitors. I'm hoping, because that was quite dirty, that that has cured that problem. Not 100% yet, but um, it might be worth just popping it back in and trying it. But then now I've got the board out, it's well worth just changing some of these capacitors. I'm only going to change them if I've got some good quality ones to pop back in. So I'm going to look for, I've got some Panasonic gold capacitors somewhere. So I'm going to just grab my capacitors out, start making a list and find out um, exactly which ones I need for this board. Do this one and I'll pop it back in with new capacitor, capacitors, hopefully. Okay, I'm going to clean this board up now. It's... Um, I don't know what this powdery stuff is on it, it's not going to stay. He says as he crushes everything to ground. Let's just spray some IPA on this. Instantly notice the change. I think it's just really fine dust, to be honest. I don't think there's anything untoward. Still not perfect, still got this strange. 
strange powder on it. Seems to give it another go. Bizarre. I could use circuit board cleaner, I suppose. Let's just carry on with the IPA for a minute. One thing with the IPA, it does um doesn't leave any residue behind. That's a bit better. Let's see we work on that now. Yeah, that's much better. Yuck. Okay, so I'm just going to go through now and make a list of the capacitors that we need.